know if you have sex with people, you know. Welcome back to my channel. It's the girl Ash and this is Ash Media. If you're new, I encourage you to subscribe, like, comment and most definitely share my videos. My current subscribers, my returning subscribers, thank you so much for your love and support. Road to 1k guys. So if you haven't subscribed and you have been watching my videos, I encourage you to subscribe because I can't make it without you guys. You guys are very important to me and I just want you guys to know that and I appreciate every single one of you who have been sharing my videos, posting, reposting, copying my link and sharing it with their friends. Thank you so much. Now remember to follow me on Instagram at mediagirl.ash. It is the same for Twitter, Snapchat, it is Jake and Chick7 and Facebook, it's my government name. I have to keep things professional, you know? right and um before i get into this video i've been getting a lot of questions about my braid um my braids so these my hair was done by nisha's hair artistry as usual she's the one who always braids my hair like for four years now she has been braiding my hair three years yeah she has been braiding my hair that's the point right so if you want to get in contact with her i can leave her instagram handle in the description box so you can go ahead and follow her on instagram make an appointment and all the wonderful stuff yep i've been getting a lot of questions about these braids i tell you anyways let me get right into the video so as you can see by the title i will be talking about some things that i don't like to see I just don't like to see it. It's either it get me annoyed when I see it or it gets me emotional. So I have a little list because my brain memory kind of bad sometimes. Especially during this quarantine time, it is taking a toll on my mental health. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By the way, guys, I need to change my intro. Instead of saying, welcome back to my channel, it's a girl, Ash. It is becoming monotonous and mundane. So I really want to change it, but I'm thinking of something. If you have any suggestion, feel free to comment and let me know. Inbox me, DM me on Instagram and just let me know if you know of anything that's catchy and something that won't be so dull and bland. Yeah. Anyways, the first thing that I don't like to see is fat man wearing tight clothes. Fat man well wear tight clothes. You're fat. You don't need nothing if you squeeze up. You're fat. You're supposed to wear loose clothes. Now I call him body name still because um, while well, certain artists in fat and him get very fat in turn artists and I pay tight clothes in my wear. Pair tight clothes. When I perform, him it come like it at the style flame and I get shot a break on stage. I don't call him name still. <laughs> not calling nobody name, not calling nobody name. No, I get myself and I no problem. Yeah, but I don't like to see fat man in tight clothes. They just look like they're my stifle. Me not like see it. It's distasteful. And as you can know, fat people, fat guys, not my type. Oh, I thought that was a lizard. Not my type. Mm -mm. Next thing is, I don't like to see people trying to be funny on YouTube. It is so obvious when people are trying to be funny. Just be original, just be yourself. People will like you for your authenticity. I've said this several times. Don't try to be funny. Don't try to put on a personality. I know you would need some type of personality for YouTube, but just be yourself. Don't try to be funny because me not like some people I say, welcome back to my channel. What all of that for? Me not like see it, but this prank is gonna be epic. That that's not trying to be funny, but that's another thing that I hate when people are trying to replicate other YouTubers and I say, welcome back, and everybody I call themselves gang, 
this this gang. You notice me not call my, my, my subscribers them nothing. Y'all are just Ash Media fans, supporters, subscribers. Yeah, me not like when them I said, Welcome back. This prank is gonna be epic. We have here so far. If, if that's you, fine. But for the people that we have follow and a copy, where's your originality? Where is it at? So ju just stop doing it. Me not like see it. I don't like to see it. Period. <laughs> oh God. What else? Yes. I don't like to see when people are driving and when them approach a crowd of people, them start wind down the window or them start speed up to make a scene. Me don't like to see it. I'm not too frightened. I'm not must calm down because oftentimes the people them are going so speed up and wind down the window and people care on the barrel. I'm not must stop it. That ain't cute. What the excitement for? You go by your business. You drive go by your business. When you up on the road and me I drive, window wind up. Well, I'm not supposed to step on the road and drive because I'm not a license. I'm not going to tell you. You understand? Window wind up. Nobody now to see me. Now create no excitement. That's not necessary. You just there's a saying poor show great I don't even know that saying when I know the say if I if I get the correct um saying or phrase I put it on the screen yeah oh no not all right this one is kind of touchy but I don't like to see it babies who are not kept so you know you have some people, them have some babies and they don't bathe them, the baby dirty. The baby young, you know, the baby in a dirty clothes, the baby ear roll up, roll up. And for example, if you try to play with the baby or lift up the baby, the baby don't smell like a baby. I don't like that. That's a turn off. If we're going to have kids, why not take care of them? I don't like to see buff nails. I like my nails really, really flat. Right now, I believe my nails could be a little bit flatter, but I don't like buff nails. Like, when you look at a person's nails, you see one big hump here, so. Me not like see that. That's so ghetto. Me eat. Me eat for see buff nails. Not to hurt me, so. Big turn off. Big, big turn off when you see the big buff. You see? My nails, they're not buff enough, but I think they could have been a little bit flatter. Me hate to see buff nails. You see, every time I got a nail tech, I'm like, make sure I see it flat now. I want it really, really flat. Really, really flat. Me hate to see buff nails. So distasteful and ghetto. My opinion. The next thing I hate to see is tacky lace wig. You see the last week something there, if you know you don't have the money to install it or you can't install it properly, just leave it alone. Cause when you gonna jump up like frog fang or put on lace, we're gonna tacky and it don't look good. Don't don't bother do it, just stay away. It's not everything you have to be a part of. It's not every rain will fall you have to wake up in a okay? Alright. Make sure now listen, I'm not want to say no tacky lace wig. I'm not like tacky braid either. I said, I have to big up my braids. Nisha's hair artistry. I want me to have no hair side. Nisha make it look like me have hair side. Let's look at that. Look how neat my braids are. Look at the details. Yeah, so I don't like to tacky lace wigs. I don't like to tacky braid. Big jumble jumble. Um, we know like when you're breathing, you see the bump, me not like see that. I don't like to see it. So if, if you know you're not a lace wig person or a braid person, just stick to what you know. Stick to that like, stick to what fits you, okay? So no bother because no bother just because you see people uh, we are buried and people are wearing lace wig, you're gonna jump up yourself, and up yourself and go do it when it don't fit you. Don't do it. Stick to you, be true to you. What else is on my list? When people don't take my pics properly. That's not something that I don't like to see, but it's just something that I don't like. Not because I did photography. Photo photography was an aspect of my degree and I did a whole um, portfolio and so on. Not because I did photography. I expect people to take my picture like a skilled photographer. That's not that's not what I'm saying. But I always take people picture good. Give them nice angle, nice lighting. And when they take my picture, a picture already. It blurry, it lean up, them finger in it. 
everything. Me can't stand it, it hurt me, I just get irritated because me keep on and say, no, me don't like this, take it over, take it over, and then you're with my hypocrite self, no? Yeah, it's alright. When I say I like it, yeah, me, mm hmm. I'm just never post one of them pictures there yet. So, to avoid all of that, I'm just going to just do a professional photo shoot and just get it out of the way. So, I'm just stop asking people to take my picture. Because um, people can never take my picture for suit me unless it's a professional photographer. Yeah, you would have a problem with sometimes. Alright. The one here, I eat seat. It hurt me anytime I see it. Young girls who look like 60 years old. You're a young girl. When I look at you, I see youthfulness. You ever see some young girl and when they tell them age, you're surprised and they suit pop down, they ear in a comb, they foot dirty, they wear some old long dress. Like, they look, they look like they could have been my grandmother. I don't like some young girl who look like that. You're a young girl. Embrace your youngness, your freshness, because one day you're gonna become old. You don't want to live a old life twice because you always look like an old person. You get what I say? Sometimes you have some older woman past them, I say, Jano, look at the woman comparing to you. So I'm not like some young girl will kill themselves like they're old somebody. I'm mm -mm. not gonna say if you wear belly skin and chop out pants and boyfriend jeans and belly skin and this. No, that's not what I'm saying because I don't wear those type of stuff. But I wear boyfriend jeans by the way, but not belly skin and them something name. I'm not wearing them something name. Right. So I'm not saying you're supposed to do that, but just bring yourself accordingly. You understand you're a young lady. Look like a young lady. A young lady, not an old lady. Alright? Alright. I'm not like to this none at all. Fathers who don't take care of them children. You did responsible enough to lay down with a woman, have sexual intercourse and have a child so why not be responsible enough to take care of that child oh someone who know enough to have sex with people you know because when they know i say the possibility of having a child is this high and then when the child comes they don't take care of the child i don't like to see that i hate deadbeat dads all right if you're watching say you want deadbeat dad Pull up your socks, do better. But don't like to look at look, look at Britney so far. But don't like to see it. So if you know you can't take care of Britney, don't put yourself in a position to get children. And last but not least, I don't like to see women who are unemployed having multiple kids and they can't take care of them. I'm not saying things may happen and I, and, I, and I don't call pregnancy a mistake because you know when I have sex it, without condom it is life before you to have kids so I don't call it a mistake so um you're gonna have pitney I don't mistake that it's not a mistake children are a blessing so no, that's not a mistake so if you have if you're not if you're unemployed and you're gonna have one pitney and then I go have two. Now I'm gonna have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No, don't do it. Don't do it. I'm not like see it. And then I depend on the government for mine, you know. What kind of style that? Me? I'm a very independent girl. I'm not like depend, depend on people for nothing. Me, I will live in the same house. I want to have my own broom, my own map, my own everything. I will live in the same house. For sure, I'm very independent. I don't ask people for nothing. I prefer the widows. So, oh, no, I have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 people that depend on man and government. And sometimes a man who not depend on and end up have a next pitney. Does that even make sense? Anyways. Guys, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching this video. If you have watched this video to the end, I just want you to leave some hearts. I'm not going to tell you to comment anything. Just leave some hearts. Because I want to know the genuine and the true ones. The true supporters. The true Ash Media supporters. Alright, remember to subscribe now. Like, share, comment, copy the link, send it to your friend. So they can send it to another friend and that friend can send it to another friend. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until next time, I'm your girl Ash. Peace.